um, this website. It's called answerthepublic.com. And it allows you to search a specific term, one word or two words. Um, if you're into, I, I, you could, I looked up iPhone 12, or if you have a, a specific business that you're into uh, banks, online banks, it'll tell you, it'll, it'll do a search, it takes a minute, and it'll pop up the who, what's, where's of people asking questions about online banks. So that way you can look and say, oh, wow, a lot of people are searching, you know, what is the best online bank or what is the best way to open an online bank account? And you can answer those questions in blog posts and videos, you know, whatever, however you you do your content. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. You can um, export it. But the only thing is, is you have to be careful because you can only do a couple searches per day. So you either have to, you know, be very specific what you want to look for or you have to upgrade to the pro. Which is not ter- I mean, if you have a, a business where you can afford the expense, it's like 100 bucks a month or 79 a month if you pay up front. Uh, but it's really neat because you could, you know, track and monitor your band- brand reputation. Like if you have a specific, you know, if you own Walmart and you want to see what people are asking about Walmart and see what they're saying about your company, um, just, you know, see what trends are coming up, what people are talking about now. Um, it, I think it's pretty cool. I thought it was pretty neat. So for the visualization, I, I typed in pro wrestling while you were talking here. So you get the data breakdown, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you know, I, so I, I typed in pro wrestling again under the word can. You get can can am pro wrestling. Can you bet on pro wrestling? Can I run fire pro wrestling world? Can I punch in pro wrestling? Uh, <laughs> and there's a cool visualization to this as well. About the and again, it's like starts with the the questions you're asked: where, who, how, will, which, why, what, you know, things like that. And and and, and, and then ideally, you would you would create you would basically like on blogs on posts answer some of these questions, so you'll come up in more terms, right? Yeah. So it's neat because especially if you're using you know you're trying to optimize you know, SEO and all that good stuff, that you want to answer the questions that people are asking. So when they search, you know, can I punch in pro wrestling? You have an article called "Can I Punch in Pro Wrestling?" and your results pop up. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I get you out there. That'd be great. I I need something like this a little bit, probably. Oops, at the end of the back end. Uh, but no, no, yeah, absolutely, because it is a little bit of like, okay, what? Well, what should we block? You know, um, um, and that's a that's a nice tool. So, how how far do you get before you have to pay for it? I searched for I think two things, and then it was like, ah, oh, you you already searched. Hey, you today. seem to like this. So, Why don't you pay us? I'm like, I can't. I like right. that. So that is um that is called uh answerthepublic.com if you want to check mm-hmm. that out. So I've used my one search for the day. 